Look at my eyes, guys. They're so red and tired and worn out because I was editing that commercial for my third cookbook. That stuff takes two to three days to edit. Welcome to Bear Pantry Talk. This is the sister channel to the Bear Pantry Show. This is where you're going to find honest reviews, exciting unboxings, do-it-yourself projects, and engaging commentary. Yeah, the commercials always come out good when I'm done with them, but I'm always under a lot of pressure when I'm editing a commercial. Let me tell you why. So I don't save the clips anymore from my cooking show. You know, like if I do a video and then I show the clip of putting together the flour and the yeast in the bowl and then I tape another clip where I'm maybe re-kneading the dough and another clip where I'm making off the bread rolls and another clip where I'm baking. So they're clips, right? I used to save all those clips after I've used them to create a video. But that stuff takes up a lot of space on my external drives. So I don't save those clips anymore. I just save the whole finished video. So when I want a little snippet from that video to like cut away in these commercials, like what, what did I cut away to? I cut away to like the air fryer wings, right? So if I cut away to that little bit of air fryer wings, I have to have the whole video, eight to 12 minute video on my, not the external drive, on the hard drive for the computer. And even though when I bought this new computer last year, I got more hard drive space, it's still not enough. You're gonna need a lot, you're gonna need like four terabytes on your hard drive to do what I need to do, right? So what I had to do was edit everything that I recorded for the cooking page, for Vlogmas, for whatever. I had to edit everything, move things off of my hard drive, and then I start dropping these videos onto my hard drive. And so then I grabbed the snippets that I needed. So then the hard, everything starts moving slow in editing program because the hard drive is so full and it's frustrating because then I can't edit anything else. I fell behind on my Vlogmas editing, you know, because I'm trying to finish this. And then sometimes when you don't finish it, the thing will like crash and you'll lose everything that you already had edited to a certain point. So however far I got, I would save and save and save and save. So I have so many um, versions of this commercial saved. And so then I did two versions, the short and the long version. Then I did the version where you add music because sometimes I don't want to just have a saved version with music because maybe I want to change the music, right? Nobody over here. Isn't that good? <laughs> huh? Yeah. So anyways, um, that's been my frustration for the past two to three days and it's done so I feel relieved, my eyes hurt. I'm gonna go say hi to Lorenzo. He's out here today. Let me see where he was yesterday. So where were you yesterday? Huh? Where were you yesterday? I'm the senior center. Huh? Senior center? The senior center? Yeah, I went to the yesterday. Oh, okay. I thought you went with your brother. I'm like, I don't see Lorenzo. I didn't want to record when Lorenzo was talking to me, you know, the respect and everything. But um, Lorenzo always talks like he's got it together. I don't think uh, Lorenzo has mental illness. I think Lorenzo is just down on his out, down on his luck because of what he went through with the IRS. So he says he went to the doctor and he got a clean bill of health that the doctor told him that he is um, contemplating sending him back to work. He did say he had a, a back injury while he wasn't working, but I thought he wasn't working because if he worked, everything was going to be taken from him by the IRS. And he says, no, everything was already settled when he took his house and truck and everything else. And he's the one suing them. And they're talking about wanting to settle. And so um, he has a worker because I asked him, you know, why do you stay in Fontana versus where your brother lives at in Rancho? And he says, because I lived here. And so everything that I do here, you know, business wise and stuff is done here in this city. Oh, God. Make sure he has the right card, please, Joshua. <laughs> what? 
Joshua's coming to double check over your shoulder. Joe is trying to buy something off of Amazon, but we have a bunch of cards listed up there and I want him to use the wrong I card. Should, I should, no, I you didn't see it just now. Oh, he, got it. he has the right one. Josh, what are you eating? Um, Jenna's bringing me some stuff back. But Jenna seasoned some steak that he gave her. She's going to cook that too. Later? Nah, For tomorrow or something? Gonna Damn, well, it got so hot. Is it a hot flash? You're lucky you're hot. I'm freaking cold. You're cold? Take some of my hot flash, Josh. Uh, take some, take some, take some. Give me like 10%. <laughs> so this is not, you could go do what you're going to do, Josh, because this is just, um, thank you too for staying quiet. I am taping a bunch of Amazon reviews. I am serious. I am serious. Joshua, mm. Jada told me to start a podcast. What do you think? Give me your initial reaction. I mean. Because I'm tired and I'm burned out I and, and I, that's a whole thing. That's a whole, yeah, that's a whole endeavor. Now, I think I know how I would record it. They said to use um, GarageBand or the other one that I was trying to use when I was doing those water sounds. Remember the other one? No. You downloaded it for me. I don't remember the name. It's not coming to mind. Oh. Um, you know what it is. Uh, See? I know you what it is. It's, it's in my brain, but it's You know what it is. Okay. Yeah. They say use that, right? Yeah. But then I've noticed how people do their podcasts. Sound Not Sound, sound Forge. Remember, that's how we used to steal music. Uh -huh. <laughs> Can't put that on. <laughs> it's the past. They remember, can't come back for the past. Remember LimeWire? There's a statute of limitations on stealing music. Anyways, remember we just, all night we download a song? Mm -hmm. All night we on dial up trying to download a song. One song. Sometimes you get a virus. <laughs> it got to the point where all viruses on Napster. <laughs> I forgot Napster too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, okay, so they're saying that you use the, that or GarageBand to tape or tape on your phone, mm -hmm. right? But that gives you just the audio. And they're saying that they have podcasts where it's ac actually video yeah, also. The one I watch but has video. if you want to do the video, like I noticed this guy, Troy's, that I watch, he'll tape it like a video and then he'll put the audio on the podcast and then he puts the video on YouTube. Yeah, right. And then my guy, Mike, that does politics, he'll put 10 minutes of a whole two hour podcast Somebody on does, uh, YouTube so he could drive you over to the podcast. Yeah. But after checking today, I've realized that when you go with like a company for them to distribute your podcast for you, you've got to pay them a fee. Mm. And it's like as low as $5 a month. But then what if I do it? It doesn't take off. That's my thing. Exactly. And I wouldn't even tell you guys here at YouTube. I wouldn't tell you about the podcast because I'm going to get 30 diehards <laughs> that's going to come over and give me hope and then it just dwindles. I'd rather them distribute it and the people who are built into those platforms find me. I had a whole thing that I was gonna say on my podcast today too. Plus, I think it would be easier for me to tape it as a video because I could sit right here, use this camera with this good microphone that's built into the camera because this blue snowball mic is booty. It works when it's ready. And then I could just tape and just talk a topic. Like today, the topic that I was gonna speak on, on the bike trail. Child, let me tell you, when I'm on the bike trail, I have things going in my brain. I never just riding and basking in the wind. I'm first of all checking for the homeless because they could knife you. Some of them are not in their right minds. And secondly, I'm checking for coyotes. Every time I see a big dog on the trail, I'm like, is that a coyote? Joy, is that a coyote? That's why I have that horn <laughs> to frighten the coyote. So um, I had this idea that I was going to talk about my grandmother today because today would have been my grandmother's birthday and she would have been 105. That's why I checked it. She died 34 years ago, and she was about to be 71 that December. She died in July. She was 70 when she died, but she was going to be 71 that year. So if you add the 71 to the 34, she would have been 105. Don't laugh at me because we've had people in my family that lived to be 105. Child, let me tell you, we have longevity in certain parts of my family. So I was going to talk about her, and I was going to say three things my grandmother taught me. And I was going to name it like, what's it like to be a naturalized American, right? Living here in America. And then I've come to the realization that I am an American from the day I was born. Because I was born in Central America. Belize is not located in the West Indies like most people think. It's located in Central America. So I've been an American since the day I was born. So what's it like being an American? <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> so I was going to talk that. I wasn't going to let it go more than 10 minutes because they say when you're doing your podcast, don't let it more, go more than six to 10 minutes because you don't want to take up a lot of people's time when they don't really know you yet. They have to get to know you. You know what I mean? So I don't know that I'm going to do it because I don't want to pay no money out there to put my podcast out there, not knowing if it's going to take off or not. Should I invest in myself that way, guys? 
I don't know if I'm gonna do live events after February because that's when my thing expires. My stream yard, I'm, I don't know. Joshua gave me a ugh just now. <laughs> Joshua! Josue! Joe, where did Joshua go? Josue! Josue Grinaje! Why did you give me that ugh huh? about the podcast? Why did you give me that look, that, that reaction? I'm not mad, I just want to know why. Because oh, it's a hard thing to get off the ground, man. Uh, I need you to be like, mm -hmm. you need to like have subjects to talk about. And, mm -hmm. You know, it's a, it's a whole production. Right. And, but people, so, people okay, so like, even if Jada says that I can talk all the things that I'm talking with her in the morning, where I'm like frustrated with YouTube, I'm frustrated with Facebook, and she says, you can talk that because that's your true heart frustration. And you could start there where people could feel that same frustration. It's like, damn, we thought that was easy, but she's letting us know that was hard. So I don't, I don't fear coming up with content. What I fear was like, how yeah. am I going to do it technically, the editing and stuff, right? Yeah. But then I figure I could do it on the camera. Yeah, that's what I would do. Just sit here doing it on the camera. And that is going to build a desk for here so I can set up my computer system right here. Yeah. And then it's that distribution that scares me. Because mm. it's like, I don't want to invest that money and then it doesn't, then nothing that I do ever takes off. True. So I get it. I get what you're saying. But a lot of people are doing it, especially on YouTube, because I think it's harder for YouTube. What to about you? Writing. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast yourself? You can talk. You have the gift of gab. Joshua could talk ever since he was little. Joshua's been communicating with us since he was six months old. How you ask? Sign language. Mm -hmm. Me and Joe took sign language Bill. before I got pregnant with Joshua. And when he was a baby, we'd show him the signs. And we'd, every time he wanted to, you know, to eat because he wanted to nurse, we'd go, milk, milk, milk. And he started to do milk. Milk, milk. Ever since it was like six months, this Jehovah Witness lady used to come to the house to sit and talk with me, trying to, to convince me to join her religion. And she said, that baby talking to you. And then when he got a little bit older, I want to say between nine months and a year, he would do a whole sentence. Daddy, work. Daddy, work. Daddy gone to work. That's what he would tell us. I'm like, God. So he's been communicating with us since he was real young. So you got the gift of gab. Have you ever thought about doing that? Does that something that doesn't give you any joy when you think about it? I mean, different. I think a lot of it's just set up. Yeah. To set up to do it? Yeah. Do you, I, my next problem that I see, you see how Jory gonna flush the toilet, open the door? Well, it's a podcast. I'm gonna have that. It's a podcast. You're gonna just have to roll with it. Oh, really? Yeah. I thought it had to be like real quiet. No, the ones I watch are stupid. Really? <laughs> yeah. So I've been overthinking that part oh, then. Yeah, totally. It's because we're still in that. We have to make it good and perfect. But a lot of people are just like, I don't know, whatever. And then they I make it. I thought I wanted a sound booth. And nah. they were like, go in your closet and this and that. Mm -hmm. And like, okay, maybe the clothes might buffer the sound. You know, yada, yada. And then I can't deal with that yawning. I can't deal with that circling, shaking that chair. Like when he gets up and he turns that chair, it hits the blinds. Just roll with it. Just roll with it. Just roll with it. Only, only thing I've thought for is like ice cream truck and the horn. That's annoying. Do you see that stupid Panadero man came right in the middle uh -huh. of my Amazon thing? Uh -huh. These people, and nobody to buy that stuff, you know. Nope. Thank you for making it all the way through to the end. Please check out my primary channel, which can be found right here on YouTube. It's called The Bear Pantry Show. Also check out my website, bearpantryshow.com, so that you can pick up a copy of one of my three books. Also, remember, we are not buying this book that's being sold on Amazon. Why? Because my distributor is ripping me off. Thanks, guys. Hey.